13 years of phonics, computation, and the scientific method culminate in one amazing walk across the stage. The class of 2009 is waiting in the wings. APS Today starts now. APS, APS, APS. Welcome to APS Today. I'm in Wandy Lawson. In our last program, you got a chance to meet the Legacy class, the first graduates of the new schools at Carver. Well, the graduates of Maynard Holbrook Jackson High School are also celebrating a first of sorts. That is the first graduating class under a new name. <laughs> the shoulders of Maynard Holbrook Jackson, a son of the Civil Rights Movement, and the first African-American mayor of Atlanta. Well, good morning, Maynard Holbrook Jackson High School. Wow. <laughs> and with that, Valerie Jackson ushered in a new era at the school, formerly known as Southside. But the adoption of her late husband's name is only one of the culture shifts at Maynard Holbrook Jackson High School. Before we used to have a lot of students saying, oh, I want to be a dancer, or director, or, you know, produce music videos. Now we hear, I want to be an engineer, you know, I want to be a scientist, and, you know, I want to work in a laboratory, or I want to, you know, create this new chemical that can do this or that. Will the following students please stand, students who will be attending a college, technical school, university, trade school, or any two-year institution or four-year university or college in the fall of 2009. Please stand. In 2003 or 4, the graduation rate was 42 percent, and uh, in 2005 or 6, the graduation rate was 86 percent. So we are very humble and pleased and glad to know that the strategies that we have put in place are making a difference in the lives of our children. Now students are talking about what college they're going to and not resisting uh, when we schedule them to come to the College Bound Center. So there has been a great change in the climate and the culture and their way and mindset of thinking about what's going to happen when I graduate. It's now where am I going to college? Robin Denise Ayers, Information Technology. Keetra Thompson, Information Technology. Along with the name change, this school year was also marked by a reorganization of the old comprehensive high school into academies, each focused on a specific field of study. We have three small learning communities here, Information Technology, Early College Engineering, and Fine Arts and Media Communications. Um, each student um, picked the SLC they're a part of, and it basically is like a little school within this big school. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Atlanta Board of Education, I declare each of you a graduate of Maynard Holbrook Jackson Junior High School. Today we graduate, but tomorrow we leave. The graduates of D.M. Therrell High School are queuing up, getting ready for their very special walk across the stage. Let's join their ceremony, already in progress. Today, May 23rd, 2009, is the day we will step out into reality and achieve the unachievable and conquer the impossible. White. This year marks the final class to graduate from Therrell High School of Business and Entrepreneurship. The school's rigorous college preparatory curriculum is based on the disciplines of business and entrepreneurship and is designed to equip students with the financial literacy, leadership, and management skills necessary to sustain a small business. 
Farrell is moving boldly towards the district's high school transformation goals with small learning communities that focus on law, technology, and health sciences. Change does not assure progress, but progress requires change. When President Obama was elected, I heard many people say, Dr. King dreamed so that Reverend Jesse Jackson could run and keep hope alive for Barack Obama to make a change. Now that is what I call real progress. In closing, I would like to lead the Dion Thurrell High School class of 2009 with the words of W.E.B. Du Bois. The most important thing to remember is this, to be ready at any moment to give up what you are for what you might become. Next, we check in with students from the school that was born in 1947, out of the union between tech and boys high schools. The 62nd graduating class from Grady High School reflects honestly on its past and future. The ringing of the alumni bell and an original class song composed by Kevin Johnson heralded the start of the 62nd Henry W. Grady High School commencement exercises. Today's graduation is more than an end. It is a beginning. From now on, we will not be spectators listening and watching in the world around us. We must take action and make change. I challenge us to set forth like there is no second chance, to be proactive in all our endeavors, to produce a society that is better because of what we have to offer. Because individually we are strong, but together, Grady Knights can change the world. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, I've tried to write this speech so many times. But each time I came up empty-handed, each time I would look at what I had written, and it just seemed so inadequate. How could I even begin to encapsulate our high school experiences in a three to four minute speech? A few extra A's on my high school transcript in no way prepares me for that Herculean task. But here's my attempt. Besides having the top GPA in the class, Sarah Bufkin is also a varsity athlete. She left the class of 2009 with a mature charge based on her own self-discovery. If you want to become a doctor, let it be because you want to be in the ER every day saving lives, not because your uncle told you you'd be good at it. If you want to stay at home and raise a family, let it be because that is what you have always wanted for yourself, not because you are too scared to explore what else you might be good at. If you want to be an artist, let it be because you have a passion for it, not because your parents told you it'd be a poor career choice. So as long as you live according to your own heart and your own values, regardless of what life you choose, you can't go wrong. In 20 years, don't look back at this day and regret not doing what it is you wanted to do. Only regret that you didn't do it sooner. Thank you. Alonzo Krim High School was named in honor of Atlanta Public Schools' first black superintendent. Today's graduates reflect Dr. Krim's legacy. Families, friends, and visitors, here in front of your eyes are the Alonzo A. Krim graduates for the class year of 2009. One campus open to a world of opportunities. It's the motto at Krim Open Campus High School. Always remember, what may look like a setback is really a setup for an opportunity to fulfill your dreams. The school provides unique opportunities to succeed for students who might otherwise fall through the cracks. Life for me has been a journey. I mean that literally. Nine schools in four different states, and those aren't even including daycares. So if I seem a little giddy today, <laughs> you know why. It has been a long journey. The type of journey no one would ever forget. I was so disruptive in elementary school that for three years, they placed me in special education. 
If you asked me then how did I feel about it, I would have told you I hated all the discipline. But if you ask me now, how has it helped me, I start by saying, I'm not a statistic, never been arrested, and never been to jail. Perhaps even more impressive, Durantes finished all of his classes three months early. Like classmate Fatima Muhammad, he realizes that high school graduation marks the beginning of a bright new chapter in lives full of challenges. There were many circumstances I had to endure to survive as a child. As I grew older, I became more susceptible to getting involved with the wrong people, having the wrong mentality, and having a negative perception of life. I also felt emotionally isolated from my family. My life started to deteriorate from the inside out. But I'm not here to talk about the past because that's not where we shall remain. Most of us, at some point in our lives, have had someone who was discouraging and doubting all of our hopes and dreams. Well, what do they have to say now? So, congratulations to my fellow graduates of 2009. And remember, lives like money, are spent. What are you buying with yours? How will you spend the rest of your life? Think about it. North Atlanta High School is home to the District Center for the Arts and the International Baccalaureate Diploma. Many of the North Atlanta High School graduates crossing the stage this evening have benefited from the International Baccalaureate Program, which challenges scholars to analyze instead of memorize. Greatness is not equivalent to success. It cannot be measured in square feet or designer clothes or luxury vehicles. Greatness is something intangible, more complex, and much more fulfilling. It is measured by the number of lives we touch, the number of people we serve. I am confident that if we go into the world with open hearts and with a sense of purpose, we can be these leaders. We can help those who cannot help themselves. We can give a voice to those who cannot be heard. The 32 seniors who have a 90 or higher numerical grade average. I believe that the spirit of the North Atlanta class of 2009 was captured in the words of President Barack Obama. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Graduates of the high school named in honor of abolitionist Frederick Douglass are reflecting on what freedom means as they begin their adult lives. I struggled with what I wanted each youth to gain from the message conveyed in the context of my speech. So I began to think about change from a historical stance, and I asked myself the very question that I would pose to you this evening. What has history taught us about change? If it weren't for the cavemen wanting mobility, colonies of America wanting liberation, African American slaves such as the man who will soon be our alma mater, Frederick Douglass wanting freedom. Martin Luther King Jr. wanting civil rights and our great president of the United States of America, Barack Obama, understanding our country's need for a new start, life in America would not be what it is today. Despite the temptations of doing what's easiest, it is more gratifying to take a risk and fulfill those goals that are deepest in your heart rather than selling for an easygoing life of complacency. To be successful in this world, you must be about your business. You have to want more. You have to want the best. We are living in a time of change. We are living in a global society in which those who are content with mediocrity and being typical are left at a dire disadvantage. Remember that the size of your success is measured by the strength of your desire, the size of your dream, and how you handle disappointment along the way. While a participant in the Math Science Squared program in Andover, Massachusetts, Douglas valedictorian Rodnisha Brown discovered that success can also be determined by how you deal with diversity. In fact, my second summer, my roommate was Japanese, and she introduced me to seaweed as a cuisine. 
Although I appreciated the gesture of her sharing, it was the worst thing I had ever tasted. It was uncomfortable at first living with someone from a totally different culture, but once again, I endured the change. Graduates of Booker T. Washington High School can boast that they share an alma mater with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And that's not the only reason that they have for their pride. We know that we are the heirs of a legacy that began in 1924. That was the year that Atlanta Public Schools opened the doors to the first public high school in the Southeast for blacks. This year's graduates look to past alumni for inspiration. Wisdom comes from honoring the experiences of those who have gone before us, like the class of 1929, who teaches responsibility to humankind. The class of 1939 models the wisdom of living a purpose-driven life. The class of 1949 instills the wisdom of community. The class of 1959 implants the wisdom of hope. The class of 1969 encourages the wisdom of patience. The class of 1979 demonstrates the wisdom of love. The class of 1989 inspires the wisdom of believing in yourself. The class of 1999 upholds the wisdom of persistence. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., whose wisdom teaches that our knowledge comes with the price of servanthood, and men like our principal, Carter E. Coleman Jr., himself a proud bulldog, who offered us an opportunity four years ago to grow in wisdom and challenged us to take it. These students were freshmen when Washington principal Carter Coleman returned to his high school alma mater to take the helm. I just, again, want you to think back four years ago at the Mater Station. I know, you know the story. You didn't know me, I didn't know you. But together as my first ninth grade class, we had a lot of things we had to accomplish and a lot of challenges that faced us. And what we learned was the fact that we got mutual respect to each other, and most importantly, we were able to respond to change. Today, you embark on a new life. You are facing accelerated changes, and the thing about change is exciting. Sometimes it can be challenging, but most of the time it's very frightening. However, your education at Booker T. Washington High School has taught you to deal with complexities and ambiguity. Thus, the wisdom that you have acquired at Booker Telefero Washington High School will take you a long way in your steps as you pursue your lifelong goals. We are here today because a history of wisdom has made us victorious and we have evidence, we have confidence, we are conquerors. Riding high on a year of academic and athletic success, the graduates of South Atlanta High School are ready to receive their diplomas. Your principal has certified that each member of this class has completed all requirements required by the Georgia Department of Education and the Atlanta Board of Education for graduation. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a member of the Atlanta Board of Education, I declare each of you a graduate of South Atlanta High School of Leadership and Economic Empowerment. Congratulations. Lisa Parker. This year, South Atlanta is especially pleased to announce that 76% of the graduating class has been accepted to other prestigious, highly selective colleges and have been awarded scholarships. 
I would like all students who have received scholarships to please stand. Among those standing is 21st century scholar Takora Snell, who received a scholarship to attend the College of the Holy Cross in Worcester, Massachusetts. The state champion South Atlanta High School basketball squad also boasts several scholar athletes, including Derek Murray, who signed on with Furman University to pursue a degree in engineering, and six foot nine Derek Favors, named Max Prep's National Player of the Year, who will attend Georgia Tech. Mays High School principal Dr. Tyrone Smith told the class of 2009 that the best way to predict the future is to invent it. And this group of talented young adults is prepared to create a bright future. I realized that much of what I am is a result of being around people who cared about my education, my success, and my well-being. I realized that much of what I am is the result of having friends that were willing to lend a helping hand to a boy they barely even knew. I realized that much of what I am is the product of being in an environment in which excellence is the standard and not the exception. And let's just say I'm more than proud of the intelligent, thoughtful, and sexy young man that I've become. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and keep clapping for that. Y'all know I'm cute. <laughs> yeah. but, but, but seriously, on, on a serious note, the class of 2009 is full of amazing young men and women. I hope that no one in this audience thinks that adolescence is what it used to be. There are people on this stage right now that go through hell every time they go home, but yet they still on this stage. And sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes, it's the ones you never even expect. Just for example, I mean, this young one boy may be the class ludatorian, but yeah, he comes from an impoverished, broken home. He don't know how he gonna pay this fee or that fee, but yeah, I'm still right here. <laughs> Everybody on this stage got that demons to overcome and there are obstacles to, you know, get through, but yeah, we made it, and we're gonna do it again. College, let's do it. If an individual in this class can overcome being homeless, losing her mother to drugs, and still maintain the highest mark in this class, what is your excuse? Today, we're no longer able to obey my parents, our neighborhoods, or our past circumstances for our failures. We must be held responsible for all our decisions and strive to seek the seemingly impossible. And on our track to achieve our ambitions, we must remain focused on the prize and remember the people who helped us along our journey. Thanks for believing in me, even when I didn't recognize my own worth. Class of 2009, we have finally made it. This marathon has ended, and we are about to embark upon a new journey. Begin this new chapter of your life, yearning to acquire more knowledge, remaining steadfast, and maintaining a purpose-driven heart, and all your aspirations will be fulfilled. I would like to leave you with this quote. The road to success is not straight. There's a curve called failure, a loop called confusion, speed bumps called friends, red lights called enemies, and caution lights called family. You will have flats called jobs, but if you have a spare called determination, an engine called perseverance, insurance called faith, and a driver called God, you will make it to a place called success. As you consider your destiny, Reflect on these words. When others are sitting, a true maze raider stands. When others are standing, a true maze raider stands out. And when others are standing out, a true maze raider is outstanding. Now that you have been empowered by knowledge, make yourself matter as you continue the legacy 
and uphold the image of this grand institution. Congratulations, class of 2009. Their words give me a lot of hope and inspiration. What about you? APS today wants to salute the entire class of 2009, wishing them much success in their future. I'm Inwandi Lawson. We want you to join us next time for another edition of APS Today as we leave you now with the power and the promise and the excitement of the class of 2009.